you know, you really can't have a great city uh, because cities consist of families, and families consist of your citizens. And the more we do to increase the quality of life uh, in this community and make it family oriented, um, the, the, met, the, the easier it is for me to do my job as mayor. And so I was glad to do this. I hope that this just, uh, as she said, leads to uh, many other accomplishments because a lot of change in progressive communities start with public policy change. And I'm standing out to, to say I'm in full support of this. We have black moms that are breastfeeding less, but we have the, infant mor the black infant mortality and black maternal mortality is at a higher rate. And I was just speaking earlier, and I've, I've shared this with people, that a lot of times we just assume that it's education. That, you know, if we just tell them about it more and, you know, let them know how great it is, then that will be enough. Uh, when I was looking at the uh, March of Dimes, the uh, PAMS uh, information, I noticed something that was very interesting to me. For education, um, black moms were receiving a higher percentage of education than white moms and Hispanic moms. And so, but their numbers of breastfeeding was still lower. And so the correlation didn't fit. And so my mind started churning, which I kind of knew. I, I know it's, it's connected to other things. We need representation. We need spaces that will allow to deal with things outside of just education and breastfeeding. Um, pretty much, most people will, they know, even if they may not have breastfed, that human milk is good for, for human babies. Um, where you get the pushback is where people may feel that there's barriers in their lives or there's things that they don't understand, and so that creates them having a disconnect from this. So, you know, with, with Black Breastfeeding Week, we like to focus on things that are going to help find those answers. Uh, many of you will see as I talk this whole week, um, the answers to any community, but specifically in the black community, the answers, you're gonna find them in the community. If the answers are coming from outside of the community, those are not our answers. Because you have to have the answers meet the people that should be sitting at the tables. If they're not at the tables, then you're not having a meeting for that community. And it's just something to remember. Um, I, I was also asked why um, you know, we're doing the Fayetteville uh, Breastfeeding Friendly City Proclamation, because I could have done Black Breastfeeding. The reason why I chose um, attempting to get the Fayetteville as designated Breastfeeding Friendly is because I wanted to let everyone know that this is a community thing. So you know, this, this breastfeeding that we're trying to um, get into the community, it's for everyone. 